Fifteen-year-old Simon tends garden in the camp in northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo, where he has lived for four months. Before that, he was a soldier, forced to fight in the country's relentless civil war, along with tens of thousands of other innocent children. He says he was a sergeant, protecting his chief, and that he relieved frontline fighters when the battle got rough. Asked if he was afraid, he says, yes, of course, like all mankind. Asked if he wanted to flee, he says, if you run, they can kill you. You have to endure. Simon ran twice. The second time, he was successful in reaching this transit center. The UNICEF-supported Kajet camp in Goma gave him food and shelter, lessons to make up for his missed education, and vocational training to give him skills he can use in peacetime. Most importantly, it gave back to him the simple life he knew before his abduction. This is Simon's last day here, before returning to the village where his family is waiting. Of course, I will miss my friends, he says. But all I really need now is to see my parents. The last leg of Simon's journey is the four-hour drive home, a trip back in time but also to a new future. For his parents, Simon has brought tomato and cabbage seeds from the gardens at the center. For the mentors who have helped send him home, Simon has nothing to give. Only God will bless them, he says. I am really very grateful.